Seth, what do you think about Minecraft Live? Uh, a bit disappointed. Disappointed? And shocked. <laughs> Why? Explain. Uh, Explain yourself. I just watched how the developers are playing and I was shocked as I saw just the fingertip of one uh, finger yeah. pushing, <laughs> pushing the combinations. That was the most shocking thing for me yeah like uh, <laughs> yeah i get you i get you <laughs> but uh, i i uh, honestly uh, personally have mixed feelings about the update because on the one hand um the the new wood type will be probably useful for us i can imagine like decorating our whole base once we have the uh, white wood the pale oak on our server and it's also a cheaper building material if you want to put a lot of stairs like here in white and also more trapdoors and stuff like this it's it's not uh, an update uh, worth uh, doing like an hour video on youtube uh, like they're doing right now yeah it's not not enough but on the other hand uh, yeah we paid for minecraft once and now we get frequent updates for free not yeah, like in many true. other games like uh, world of warcraft or stuff like this so uh, on the one hand, yeah, it's not much. On the other hand, uh, should you expect too much for free? I mean, should one be too critical about it? I'm not sure. I have mixed feelings. And at least I know that with the new wood variant, once on the server, we can do something with that, which is nice. Maybe with the new wood variant, there would be something which would be updated. The fletching table. <laughs> High hopes there. Okay. <laughs> I needed to say that because that's like the one rule of the Cupscriber community. We want the function for the fletching table. Anyways, welcome back. Sorry I had still the shaders on. And we start in the inside because Sephirate has decorated. Sephirate, uh, show us. Show us, yes. show us. Let's do the storage first. You follow me we but you decorated here as well oh yeah i got uh, i got some flowers from back home i found them somewhere packed up so i decided to bring a bit more life into this area <laughs> and yeah those were gifts from pg and uh yeah yeah for uh, anyone wondering uh a great dad uh seth is pregnant like halfway uh, done with the production of the new villager <laughs> so so that's why that's, that's why, why i needed the that. honey from last episode <laughs> okay i get it i get it <laughs> yeah okay i added a uh, science to go through all the areas so we don't get lost and uh there's already spoilers here very good <laughs> yeah i mean they are there there's just no access yet okay okay I get it. <laughs> yeah keep going keep going so some paintings from our time on earth and then we have something special here from Eichling. she brought us a custom head box where she displayed the moon phases and also a handwritten book to all the moon phases which is displayed here oh not page 11 self i wasn't uh, i wasn't doing I'll, that i will just skip shortly if anyone wants read it pause it i i want <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 12, 13, 14, feeling like doing my block to block tour again. <laughs> 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, done. Nice. And then if you follow me more, welcome to our storage. We added banners, we added lighting, we added um, more, more pictures. I'm losing my words. Um, we added some additional storage for smaller bits and we got very comfy with our storage, I would say. At least I'm getting more and more used to it and when I come in here, I know that I have to go like east south to get some redstone stuff for you. So yeah, that worked out pretty great. So to quickly try to explain everything, here are all the dice and flowers, so all the stuff that you make dice from. Here on this side are like plants and food and stuff. Those are mob drops and there are our books and fitting into that there is our flower corner, our crafting and cutting stone corner, our brewing corner. There is an enchantment corner so the, the stuff above it fits it. 
And also I asked Seth to put some banners on the doors because I got lost all the time. So at least I know, okay, north, you go to the oxygen generator with the oak tree inside it. Uh, and it helps me orientate here. And for the storage, how we organize ourselves, we have all the wood types, we have some uh, different stone types, and the side, deep slate, tough uh, bricks, uh, sandstone, red sandstone, prismarine, here's uh, other never stuffs. Here is some wall, some glass, and on the bottom, ouchie, uh, we have like the end stuff, the, all the minerals are here, honey, uh, slime, bones. Here's my redstone corner where I have, have most of the things I need to craft. Um, and here we have some miscellaneous stuff. Here's all the light sources. Uh, here's some more nether stuff, sand, gravel, uh, concrete, terracotta, here earth, mud, and blah. That's like we think that is enough for us and i think it works quite nice all the chests uh, here or the shaka boxes here are full of materials for the next build and i need to say i didn't need that much time to collect everything i mean most of everything we already had but using the storage here even if those ways are uh, quite long so you have to oh yeah i need some a bit of wool and then they, i need a bit of stone but it's still not that long distances and the collection was quite quick i think even you Seth, were surprised yeah i i was surprised because i was still editing the last episode and then Dorfri was like i'm done we can record the next episode and i was like i'm not done yet please give me a bit more time <laughs> <laughs> and since then i'm waiting and waiting to start building yeah i know and then i forced you to go grocery shopping today and that took too long and yeah, now we are here and ready to rock the next building. But before I show the next building, Seth, I want to show everyone what you did in the cantina. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that you decorated as well. I didn't see it in person so far. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So this was also Eichling you tell? Yes, she also dropped off a second box. Uh, which included the solar system, also with a book where you can read through over here. And I tried to, at least for the inner circle, um, stay in the right order. So in the middle here, over the table, you see the sun. Yep. Right above me, yes. there's the sun. Yes. And then there's Earth, and I think it was Mercury and Mars and something else. Mars. I'm sorry, this I'm not so... Probably, is this Pluto or Uranus? This is, this, is, this, is, this is Saturn, I think, Yeah. because of the rings. This uh, big one over there looks at like Jupiter. There are also some very big stars in there, so... Yeah, I, I cannot guarantee which one is which, but... Um... We're not good at astrology, to be honest, or astronomy. <laughs> yeah. But... It looks amazing. It looks amazing. And I think the room and uh, yeah, the main room and you should spend time if you work here um, and adjust your food that is uh, facing you. Uh, <laughs> uh, and if you eat here and do your break and watch on TV, it really brings the whole space to life. Uh, and it reminds you of home of the solar system that you came from, which is nice. Right. Also, this is the stuff. I usually do an R build, so if you wondered why Dorf is like mostly designing the outside, that's because I like to focus on that inside stuff with armor stand works and uh, yeah, decoration in general. So he builds the shell, and I kind of try to bring life into that building, and uh, which is really easy to do with armor stand, but still you you have to get like a picture of the room how you want to make it feel and that's not always like directly coming to your mind and i hate this so <laughs> I, I like doing this like small little tiny itty bitty bits no 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 that's not for me give me a huge <laughs> build that i can design i'm fine with it but not like putting this on a small angle and this on a different angle and this on a no no thank you and also flowers and pictures and stuff like this no thank you okay. no thank you but but don't free um, talking about building, I know what you have planned for this episode. Yes. And we're already talking again quite long. Yes. I know that we have to build a ton of blocks. Yes. Um, do we want to start? Thank you. 
Dufray. Mm -hmm. That's not my name. Yeah, that's the second mistake I took. Uh, I made today. Um. The first one was to start building this monstrosity one. <laughs> no, that I that I, I copied your redstone wrong. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you, if you can see it in the replay. I had to uh, fix it. Uh, it was <laughs> it was a bit frustrating, but n nothing um, <laughs> too big. <laughs> but yeah, you, the the torch didn't work. <laughs> yeah, that's why I took on on landscaping them because I didn't want to break anything else. Yeah, it's okay. But uh, we've done it. You've done it. We've done it. I've done it. I, I haven't done it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, what do we have here, Seth? We have an airlock that is connected by two more buildings to the main storage. Let's maybe first talk about the outside. Um, I choose or we choose a different color for the dome, so it represents like a uh, hay, maybe. Um, yeah, yellow hay. You yeah. think about animals, that's okay. We left two of the animals still outside, the mushrooms and the cows here, because I want to put some buildings in the future here. So like one on the diagonal coming outside from here for the mushrooms and one coming straight from here for the cows. That's why they're still positioned outside. Then I made some two small, tiny, uh, cute... May I interrupt you? No! Uh, two small, tiny energy collectors. Yes, what do you want? <laughs> We didn't only choose the color yellow for the hay, but also brown for the poop. <laughs> yes, it's very uh, natural. <laughs> so, so brown and yellow reminds you of animals. Nice. Poop and food. Okay. And a small water collector here. So the airlock is the same design as the one we already have, right? And I like the banners that you put here. I, I know you have to decorate the rest. I know it's not decorated, but the banners uh, by Eichling are beautiful. Especially mine. It looks even more evil than my original face. Like, let me take my helmet off. Like, in comparison to that, I look cute and nice. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's why I love the banner. It's way better than my own face. <laughs> she, she really captured your soul. And yes. she she captured my spirit. Like, I look like cute and funny. Now you look like, huh, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, that's how I felt building your redstone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our third oxygen generator. This time it's the birch tree. So we have oak, we have azalea, and now we have birch as well. Here is our barn with the sheep farm. And as you mentioned, oh, here is place bye for bye. <laughs> <laughs> this place for my animals. So our sniffers have a new home. Our <laughs> <laughs> llama has a new home. And then our camel has a new home. And here is the armadillo that has a new home. And I think the other animals will get um, own houses over there for them. Like maybe we will get some chickens in the future or pigs or horses. Or I know where you want to put your dogs in the future. So that's fine. And over there are some flying ships because the dome was so big. I wanted to put inside here something. So hay is stored in those flying modules here. And maybe there would be a nice idea to put them I don't know, outside? Yeah. Why did you turn the red sun off? I wanted to demonstrate something. Yeah, then demonstrate. Demonstrate that you do. <laughs> <laughs> that you don't wait till I can talk about it. Just you do, you do your own stuff. I feel you. Okay, now explain how this uh, red sun works. Um, you flick a lever over here. Then the sticky person pushes up the redstone or block so the signal is interrupted and that's why there is no power going through to the redstone lamps and if you flick it again then the power is back and ta -da -da -da, light is on so the next 
Block to block redstone tutorial is, uh, is made by Seth. Nice. <laughs> you will fail. <laughs> Why me? You, you, you have to do no, it. No, I mean the viewers. Ah, so, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were so shocked your German came out. Nice. <laughs> and we're here back in the storage. Same position as we ended one or two episodes ago of our episode? Yes, where I mentioned that I don't want to do any episodes with you anymore uh, when you sing. <laughs> um, yeah, now you can see what kind of progress we made already in those last two episodes. Um, pretty decent, pretty decent. And I would say so far we can take a break here and for the next episode should could focus on community projects because what? We, we have something already... What? And the mushrooms and the cows? You told me that the animals are more important than anything else. Yeah, but the mushrooms are already infected. They can suffer any any further. Ah, so you know my plans for the mushroom. That's why you say they can wait. Mm -hmm. So maybe we have more mushrooms. Okay. Okay, then community projects are all right. I just want to give your dark soul a treat so you can smile again. And let the animals suffer and wait. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> With those kind Halloween vibes already coming mm. through, we say bye bye. <laughs> You're right, I didn't mention you had once in this video. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>